Now, this next marker I think is very important for males because this marker relates prostate health and finasteride as well as dutasteride treatment. The prostate specific antigen, also known as PSA, a protein produced by the prostate gland, serves as a very important marker for prostate health. The importance of monitoring PSA levels cannot be overstated, especially for patients on finasteride or dutasteride. PSA levels can signal the presence of conditions like prostitis, which is an inflammation of the prostate, sometimes caused by bacterial infections or urinary tract infections. It can also give indications of benign prostatic hyperplasia, which has a basis in androgens, specifically DHT, causing for the prostate to grow and inflame. Finally, probably one of the most important and serious conditions of these, prostate cancer. Given that 5-alpha reductase inhibitors are known to decrease PSA levels, understanding baseline values and ongoing changes is vital. A failure to disclose the use of these medications to a physician can obscure early detection efforts as 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride and dutasteride may mask underlying issues. So if you have a urologist and you got your dutasteride and finasteride from your dermatologist, Tell your urologist that, hey, I'm using 5-alpha reductase inhibitors for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia. Tell them. Don't try to act weird about this. This is your health we're talking about. Recent studies have provided new insights into the effects of finasteride on prostate health, particularly concerning prostate cancer. While finasteride has been shown to reduce the overall incidence of prostate cancer, concerns have been raised regarding its association with higher grades of cancer detection in prostate cancer cases. Now, before you freak out, this phenomenon is believed to be largely due to detection bias. The medication's effect on reducing the prostate size may enhance the detectability of aggressive cancers during biopsies or screenings, leading to a seemingly higher incidence of severe cases. Thus, rather than increasing the risk of high-grade prostate cancers, finasteride may actually improve the identification of aggressive cancers that may otherwise remain hidden. Also, the lowering of the PSA score, like I mentioned earlier, can mask early signs of prostate cancer or potential prostate issues. So again, I keep saying again and again and again, but really I want to reiterate the point. This is why it's important to tell your doctor, your urologist, your general practitioner, that you are on these medications so they can do the necessary mathematical adjustment in calculating your near natural PSA score. So even people who didn't get the baseline blood work before starting treatment, still, it is important to have that baseline score established as early as possible in your treatment history. So for instance, it's known that finasteride can reduce PSA scores by 50%. So if a patient presents with a PSA score of 1 nanogram per milliliter, to estimate the natural PSA level, the observed value should be doubled. So 1 nanogram per milliliter times 2 would be 2 nanogram per milliliter. If you present with something like 4 or 5 or 6, that can be, just even on its own, that, that could be a cause for concern. 